Hello and welcome in. My name is Mark, aka The Markster. This is video number 51 in the FreeCAD series. Today we're not going to be making a model necessarily. We're just going to be <clears throat> kind of looking around here in part design and talking about some of these various array features that are available and how to go about using them. Today I'm using 0 0.19 revision number 20036 on Windows 10. If you're curious about this revision number, it's kind of a version number, but it's it's really the actual count of the number of commits to the source code there have been since FreeCAD moved from SourceForge to GitHub a few years ago. So 20,000 code changes. It's a very actively developed project. So each, uh, each commit could be one tiny change, one line of code, or it could be several new files added it just when the entire uh, when all the source code previously available from SourceForge was uploaded to github that was probably like one commit all those files so it just depends usually each commit will be an improvement but sometimes there are regressions and bug fixes need to be made and additional commits need to be had so it's not necessarily 20,000 features it's just 20,000 mostly improvements <clears throat> alright so let's start looking here with the uh, mirror tool we haven't used that yet that I remember anyway here in part design make a sketch on the XY plane and I don't really have any particular model in mind I'm just uh, more or less randomly putting stuff I'm pressing the M key here when you press M you get these different options alright looks kinda like a puzzle piece so that would be maybe a good uh, good thing to make in a future video is a puzzle so um, now let's go ahead and pad this just at the default what was it 10 millimeters now if you had a model that was symmetrical that's what really the the mirror option is for so if you wanted to make this model <clears throat> you can save yourself some work by just making half of it in a sketch and then mirroring it <clears throat> or you can use the horizontal axis either one I like to use the, the base XY plane you see what that did made it twice as thick the YZ plane in this particular object is the same as using the vertical sketch axis and the base XZ the same as using the horizontal sketch I don't think there's a difference what if you wanted to use this face as your reference you can select reference it needs to be a 
flat face. So you can make that object. <clears throat> it will not let you select a curved face or an edge. It must be a face. In this case, it's the same as selecting this uh, vertical sketch axis. because that edge was on the axis. But if it had not been, you'd, receive, you'd uh, achieve a slightly different effect. So you might be thinking, okay, great, now I can also just mirror this down and I could have a symmetrical object like that and only have to do one quarter. But unfortunately, you cannot mirror a mirror. You can only mirror, I'll try it to show you, you can only mirror an additive or a subtractive feature. And that's the error message you get. So how to go about mirroring this in both directions? <clears throat> Let's delete it, clear this error. So the trick to doing that is to use this multi-transform feature and what we can do is right click down here where it says right click to add add mirror transformation unfortunately we're not going to get the nice preview here for some reason so I did the uh, vertical one first then I add another This one will be the horizontal. So you see I was able to create this entire entire model here with just doing this one quarter. So I saved myself a lot of work, a lot of time, especially if I would have been constraining all of this. Another option for a symmetrical for a symmetrical model where you see some symmetry and you get the idea that you can just do uh, a quarter of it, let's say, you can use a polar array on this. Now it's going to need to be four pieces so that they they all interconnect. So that is the sketch rotated. It's very different from the mirroring. But if you were do, trying to model this object and you notice that symmetry, that would be a way to do it. So what if we wanted to mirror this not around this axis, not around this axis, not around this edge, but around some arbitrary edge. How could we do that? Well, we can add a construction edge anywhere we want it, as long as the mirror results in a, a single contiguous solid. So if we put it here, it wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to mirror about this because it would fail because it would produce a non-continuous solid, it, multiple solids basically. Unless you had some other feature before this one that this would intersect when you mirrored it. So let me just put it here just to show you. So now when, when we do the mirror we can find the construction line 1 as the reference available. So remember that construction line trick. 
This is one of the rare times where the construction element can actually impact the, the result of some operation. Of course, you use these to help you uh, constrain your sketch or whatever, define your element, so in that way it, it changes it, but I mean directly. So another thing we can do is uh, with the construction line is revolve the sketch. I'm sorry. Revolve. Yeah, re when you revolve the sketch, let's delete this pad. You can also select that construction edge as your reference. I deleted it, so it's not going to show up. But let's go back in here and add it back in. So we could put it right here. And when it rotated, it would have a hole in the middle. When it revolved. We select that construction line. Which the same could be achieved just by moving the sketch and rotating about the vertical axis. But of course this can be you know any arbitrary position too. So if we wanted a conical circle conical hole that's what we're getting there Alright, well, um, that's going to be it for today, nice and short. Mainly I wanted to cover the mirror, which we haven't covered yet, and to show how to do multiple mirrors with the multi-transform here, and also how to use that construction edge as a reference when doing uh, this mirror and this uh, revolve operation. And the same would hold true for the groove. The groove is just a subtractive version of the revolve. So thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.